Well, the time has come again to pack for another Disney trip. Taylor and I were just talking this past week, planning out our last final details and realized in 2023, we started out the year's cast when we were finishing the Disney College program. This summer we visited Disneyland, and now this winter time, almost a year since our college program ended, we were returning back to Walt Disney World to see all of our DCP friends and those who still work there, and also once again make memories and recreate memories from our Disney College program. So this is going to be a very emotional and fun trip, so be sure to subscribe and stay tuned so you don't miss the full adventure. But with that said, we need to start packing. I usually pack my trips like a whole week ahead of time because I'm just so excited, but I've been so busy this winter break that I haven't even finished opening my advent calendar. Like we're just, we're losing it and I'm excited still, but you know, now here, here we are. I leave the day after tomorrow. I have my outfits generally planned out, but it's just time to show them to you and pack them in case I don't get to show you in the actual videos, you know, or if any of you are curious of any of the pieces. I did have to get a new suitcase after my Disneyland trip because unfortunately on the way home, my Minnie Mouse Epcot one broke. So that's a real, real sad, real shame. But that's all right, we need to get packing because we're wasting some time. But first let's open the advent calendar. <laughs> this has been a super fun advent calendar. Although, like I said, I've just been so busy that I just haven't had a chance to open it. I did open some of them on the live stream. Otherwise I was opening them on Instagram. But now here we are. I don't even know how many days we have to open. We have to open the rest of it. <laughs> open the eighth real quick. Sully. Oh my gosh. Is it number 10? Oh, I think it's just a little like Christmas backdrop for them. Number 11 is the big Christmas tree. And lastly, number 12 is a little piano setup. I wasn't really in the Christmas spirit, say, these past 12 days, but now going to Disney World for the holidays. If you've never been to Disney for the holidays, it is so magical. The decorations are beautiful. We're also going to a Jollywood Nights. The lighting is just perfect in here all the time. So extremely excited. Let's look at these little pieces. It's not as fun opening them all at once like that versus opening them each and every day. This is the Love Pop advent calendar, by the way. I guess I didn't say that. If you've never heard of Love Pop, go check them out. They have really, really cool Christmas cards and stuff. This is not sponsored. Holiday cards, birthday cards. They have all the cards. Ah! Cute little scene. Oh my gosh. Oh, and this is like an interior. Oh, wow. What? They're so intricate. And they make these little pop- they're little pop-ups. They're flat cards and then whenever someone gets them they can pop them up and now- Cute. Mickey and friends, Tinkerbell, Elsa be back there with Anna, Stitch, everyone dancing. Anyway, for me, Disney trips always begin with like a Word document or some sort of shared file that we can all type the plans on. We plan out each and every day with the park hours, what reservation we got, and something that we hope to do each day that are like top priorities, whether it be things to buy or things that we have to go see. Having lived at Walt Disney World this past year, however, don't have a lot of planning to do. We just have to plan like when we're meeting up with people that we haven't seen in a long time when we're going where, of course, what reservations we need, what boarding groups we need to get, what dining reservations we have. There's a lot that you still need to consider. However, we're taking this trip a little more laid back. We're not about to go run and try to ride every single ride. We're gonna go see the new things we haven't seen, hang out with the people we haven't seen in a while, and just have a good chill break holiday Walt Disney World time. All you could wish for in a little holiday trip. So we're not gonna be running around like crazy, like how I usually do at the parks. We're just gonna enjoy it. We're, we might not even rope drop most of the days. We're just gonna go and just have fun and do what we feel in the moment. It will be fun. So these videos are gonna be just us having fun, which I am very excited for and in need of. I've showed this a few times before, but I take one big suitcase with all my outfits perfectly rolled in it by the day that I need them. So as soon as I get up in the morning, I can just grab the roll of clothes that I need and just go and there's not like flailing around my suitcase. 
because I don't got time for that. So I do this and then I also put a duffel bag in this bigger suitcase so I only check the one bag and then I have my backpack for the plane and that way flying home any merchandise or popcorn buckets that I get I can put in the duffel bag and use as a carry-on instead so they don't break in the suitcase which it's always good to consider especially if you're a collector of those things oh and this time of course i'm gonna have my park bag which i wanted to show you real quick this is again from the lapelling brand they sent me this bag a few videos ago and i have decorated with all of my disney park pins i'm well not all of them let's back up these are some of my holiday pins i'm so so excited because i haven't had a display bag big enough um to take to the parks on my longer trips like this that now I can finally display the pins that I've had and it also comes with multiple little display sleeves so I'm gonna put in an extra one so as I get pins on my trip I might put a new divider in the front with the little pins and stuff that we get along the way which I think will be really cool talking piece while we're waiting in line for things and all that stuff so I'm very very excited to have this very holiday very festive bag which looks to be a great size for all that I need at the parks and of course I have some little holiday keychains hand sanitizers and my ear holder from Tokyo Disney which has come very very handy sometimes you know on a ride you can't put your ears on so it's good to clip them in your bag so you don't lose them in terms of inside of my park bag there's always a phone charger specifically a fuel rod because at Walt Disney World you can exchange those for free which is amazing I also have my camera my camera batteries and whatnot I will need to pack my GoPro this time because I'll be riding Tron for the first time and I need to have the camera strapped to something so we're gonna bring out the GoPro it's been a while <laughs> since we've seen that um, I'll also have you know basic things like hand sanitizer band-aids of course a new emo will be with me we'll look at those in a little bit that reminds me i'll also have my pin traders and i'm also going to bring little cast member gifts i love to give little cast member gifts i unfortunately didn't get to take them to disneyland because i couldn't find them but i've since found them they're little mickey mouse keys and i write little messages on them so i'm looking forward to very much giving those out but at disneyland i did so many cast compliments on the my disney experience app it was stunning i'm gonna go in the park and just start crying because of all the memories that have happened this past year anyway um i also need to pick out my magic band that i'm gonna take i thought about taking the the 2.0 which is the light up one i feel like that was a little bit easier to use when i lived there and just had the charger there and stuff but i don't want to lug a lot of things so i'm gonna need to pick a different one taking the chance here again by wearing jeans to florida although it's like mid-december so i feel like it'll be all right there's supposed to be wind the high that it will possibly be over there is 72 and the lows will be 50, 60, so I feel like this will be okay. This is gonna be airport travel day, December 14th. Really cute little Mickey mini sweater and just the jeans. I'll have white shoes and these ears I think will match it perfectly. We're going to Magic Kingdom after the airport and then ending our night at Hollywood Studios, so I feel like this will be a fun festive way to enter the Florida airport. <laughs> Moving on to day number two, we're going to the one and only Epcot so this will be my first time I can officially wear my Epcot spirit jersey which I am super super excited about it's just gonna be general Epcot with just black jeans the white spirit jersey but I could always put on my snowman ears too to tie in a little bit of holiday festivities as well but I'm excited for this day the next day Saturday we're going to Magic Kingdom which I know going to Magic Kingdom on a Saturday is kind of a bad idea but we're doing it because that's the only day we can see happily we're after because there's christmas parties every other night this is a little retro joy from the world 2008 shirt isn't that crazy it's all like wrinkly and old like old vintage shirt so i thought that'd be fun for the magic kingdom holidays with the dream lights and stuff <laughs> so you have that shirt with these really fun striped jeans check those out so these will be like mom jeans with the shirt I think that will look super cute. I apologize the lighting doesn't make it look cute, but here we are. And I think that will look adorable with the snowman ears. Try to turn that down. Yeah, how cute that will look. Oh. The next day we have booked Epcot just so we can ride <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy again. Um, because you know we have to do that a bunch of times on this trip. 
And then, well, I'm not sure we're going after that. We might just resort hop. We might go look at the Christmas trees. We might go to Jelly Rolls. I have no idea what we're doing. We're just going to hop around and check it out. Uh, I do think we have a Space 220 reservation that day. So this is a very just general random outfit. But I had to bring my Club 33 Spirit jersey because this is one of the highlights of my year and my Disney bucket list. So I was like, I have to wear this at Walt Disney World now. And especially since it will be cooler like, I don't know one other time of the year I could wear this in the parks necessarily. So, it's like I have to bring the Club 33 Spirit jersey just because it's so special. And then I might bring the Club 33 hat along too because I feel like that's a pretty, pretty classy outfit there. <laughs> Super cute. This will be Monday the 18th. I have this adorable little sweater vest that I just got. How fun is that? With a black bodysuit underneath it. And then once again, just jeans. So this will be a Jollywood Nights outfit. How cute does that? I'm very excited about this. It'll be so much fun. And then I'm gonna wear these ears with it because they kind of match the sweater. I feel like the knitted look. I was gifted these last year. So I'm very excited to wear them. Just the one wire got bumped. There we go. Light up ears. I thought it would be fun for Jollywood because it's at night. So I can turn the ears on and be really cute. We're approaching the last few days here. I got this shirt at H&M a few months ago, but it's just a striped shirt with a little Mickey head on it. I feel like it's very, very subtle, but my patch jacket is something I've been waiting and waiting and waiting to wear it to the parks and it just wasn't cold enough. I don't think I took it on my college program for some reason, or I never like remembered to bring it when it was cold. Like it's just the whole thing. So I was like, we're planning an outfit around this jacket. So I'm gonna wear this jacket to Magic Kingdom the next day, which is Tuesday, and then I'm going to meet up with people at Disney Springs that evening. So this will be a great, great fit to, to cover all of that. I'm so excited to bring this. And then once again, I'll have jeans with that. And I'm also going to bring along just the solid black Mickey ears, just to make sure that this is the real focus piece. <laughs> and then lastly, we have our travel day once again. We are gonna go to Epcot in the morning to ride Guardians one last time. And I'm gonna wear one of my holiday spirit jerseys. I have this one from Very Merry Christmas Party in 2019. Or I also have my red food one as well. Oh, and don't worry, I didn't forget the Nuimos pals that will be joining us on this trip. We'll have Mickey dressed in his little Christmas mix match outfit sweater. Look how cute he is. And then, of course, I'm going to bring Rocket for the Epcot days because he needs to ride Cosmic Rewind with us. And then for the night of Jollywood Nights, Kermit in his Christmas PJs is going to be joining us because he's a big part of the celebration there. So we got three little friends joining us this time. I wish I could bring them all, but there's only so much space in the suitcase and we need to get some more friends <laughs> while we're there too. So I feel like for now, that's kind of it. I have some super fun holiday earrings that I'm going to match with each of the outfits, but you'll for sure see those in each of the vlogs. I also, of course, need to get toiletries together, makeup together, PJs together, you know, that the, the, the essential necessary little extra things like that. And then just to kind of solidify my shoe choice, I might bring another pair, I might bring two pairs, might just do one, I don't know yet. But that is generally my Walt Disney World kind of outfit packing time. I had those outfits planned out. I did that last night. But I wanted to show them to you before I got them all rolled up and packed in my suitcase before we were off on our next adventure. So I am so excited to bring you along for this little holiday time. These videos aren't necessarily going to be like informational, like how to do this and how to do that. This is just going to be Taylor and I and some DCP friends just having fun and experiencing the new things at Walt Disney World that I haven't seen since I've been there. Like I said, it's been it's been almost a year since I left, so this is gonna be a very emotional trip, a very, very fun trip. I think each park besides Animal Kingdom has something that I haven't seen yet. Although Animal Kingdom for the holidays is beautiful. Magic Kingdom, I have not seen the update on Tiana's since it I it was still Splash Mountain whenever I left, so I'm sure they've come a long way with that. I also haven't done Tron yet, so that's very exciting. Over at Epcot, World Celebration opened with a new Walt statue at Dreamer's Point and Moana Journey of Water. We're also going to do Space 220, which is something I've never done. Or try to go to Trader Sam's, which is something I've never done. There, there's a lot. And then Hollywood Studios, we're going to go to Jollywood Nights. So 
there's a lot to see, a lot to do, lots of excitement to be had. So look forward to more videos coming up Tuesdays and Thursdays. Tuesdays and Thursdays, 2 p.m. Eastern time. I might even upload a few of them on some Saturdays coming up here just to make sure that you kind of get all these festive videos like not too far and early in the next year because I know some people might not be interested in that anymore. But anyway, I'm rambling. It's time to go. I will see you all real soon and I hope you have a wonderful day. Remember to do what you love and do what makes you happy and I will see you all next time. Bye!